Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mr. here here to bring you another awesome brand new video. Again we come back to Crash Bandicoot World and I'm loving this game, it's really exciting. Bringing back a lot of good memories, a lot of <laughs> bad memories. So many times that I struggle with this game but right now I'm having a lot of fun and we are progressing at good speed and we are going to continue to the next level, level 15, let's go! Double header, another level that has to do with the medieval times. It, they are really well, fun. Well, you've crashed a few parties before. You interrupted but I never me. Expected you to make it this far. If you don't turn back, I will inflict a thousand years of suffering on you and the entire universe. Okay, whatever. I don't care about you, dude. I'm going to beat this game, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with it. Okay, okay, here right now we get to see the new enemy. It's a double headed giant. And uh, there are two different, uh, two main ways to defeat him. You either have to jump on his head, or uh, later on you get a bazooka and you just get to shoot him. But for now, we can just ignore him and continue. Like a boss. Nobody's going to defend me now. I ain't having way too much fun. I ain't progressing at this game at a good rate. We are going to progress in an amazing rate. We're going to continue having a lot of fun, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm sure that m many of you have already played this game too. Um, <laughs> I bet some of you can relate with me when I say that this game can really make you pull your hairs out sometimes but the weird thing is like when you pro uh, as you get become a better gamer it doesn't look as bad but it's just because you get to uh, ac you acquire better abilities as a gamer and um, you are more agile more attentive to details so that's really good um, and what some people don't realize that some people get, uh, think that gamers we are um, lazy that we don't have a life but honestly I have a good life um, I have a good family I even I am graduating tomorrow from um, I'm getting my degree in computer programming and I'm even going to think about video game design which is really fun but for now I'm seeing how, where my life takes you and these days I'm really going to enjoy um, making videos for you guys uh oh yeah that didn't go as well as planned but it's okay we are not collecting all the boxes completely right now but I'm just want to show you how you do it Careful with this. Oh, no, no. Yep. That's how you do it. You need to be fast. If not, the TNT explodes the jumping box, and you won't get to uh, get those boxes at the top. Maybe later when you get the bazooka that I mentioned earlier, but that comes later on in the game. Okay, here we are. We have the pink gem. Um, that means we are getting a good progress. Yeah. No, nope. you are not getting me, Marilyn. And right there, we see the end of the level. I wonder. Uh, well, I know that I didn't get all the boxes because remember the ones I missed on the bonus level. But uh, let's see. Two. I was short. Two boxes. Those are the ones that I missed in the bonus level. Okay, here we are right now, we are going to face the enemy. I'm going to admit, when I was young, when uh, the first time I was playing this game, this is the enemy that gave me the most challenge you are going to see. Um, right now, I actually enjoy it because looking back, it was I was just a little kid and 
Well, as a little kid you get too distracted and you struggle with the little things, but this is a really ah, fun enemy. You little vermin are way too stupid to understand what you're getting yourselves into! This time you've done it! Now you're on my time, you little skunk! Give me the crystals! I don't think so. He controls space and time, but he has a limit. Like right now, he's trying to get me to kill me, but we are not going to let him do that. What, what happens right now? He moves those tiles and he gets weak for a second, and that's the moment that we have to use. He moves them, and you see there are less tiles now. You see? It gets challenging. The secret is wait until the last second to dodge. And now, let's see. Okay, you see, sometimes he moves the tiles in a different order. So, don't get cocky, don't get overconfident. Last second to dodge. Now let's try that again. We are doing good. Okay, now it's even less tiles, and these things are always so. Yeah. You see what I mean? Okay, this time it's going to be different. Okay, just move the tiles now. I'm going to defeat you, it's just a matter of time. And you should know, you are a time wizard. Okay, wait for it, wait for it. Yeah. That's how you do it. <coughs> okay. And take that. I almost jumped on the edge. Okay. No, not again. You see what I meant when this is challenging? is that last part this is energy balls are really something I'm ready you didn't see that I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Nope. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Okay. Let's try that again. Doing fun. Okay. Uh, I thought I could dodge it in a different way. <sighs> Let's try that one. Nope. I'm going to try to dodge them that way. Maybe it's more effective? I don't know. This is actually it will be actually the fir very first time I try to dodge it that way. It's going to be. Sh 
do I say? Interesting? Okay, let's try that one more time. Oh yeah, if you lose uh, a couple times in a row, you get a mask. So, I guess the game feels sorry for you. But that mask is actually going to allow me to win if I can keep it until the right moment. We need so far. So far so good, so far so good. I'm liking this. And I still have my mask, so even if I get hit, I will survive. Okay, the moment I have the mask and I dodge them all. Ladies and gentlemen, my <coughs> time is up, but yours soon will be too. Okay, this is a really cool power. It's the dead tornado spin. To spin longer and faster, or to glide while in the air, press the square button repeatedly. I'm going to show you, you in a second this power. It's really interesting. It actually allows you to clear longer distances. You insolent, insignificant morons! Okay, okay, I don't want to hear you say that. I'm having way too much fun. Okay, here we are, advancing to the next zone, but I'm going to show you the power that I was mentioning. You see that? And you actually get to glide for a couple, uh, as long as you do the spin which is really cool. Right now we are going to move on to level 16. We spent uh, more time than expected in that last boss, but it's going to be good. And uh, you see right there in the top left corner, we see the new enemy. He's a cyborg, and uh, I forgot his name. I guess he's going to be introduced later on. On this level, some people don't realize, uh, sometimes they just go straight, but you need to pay attention. Check this out. You go back and you find four boxes. I bet many people try to collect all the boxes and at the end they see, oh, where are those last four, um, four boxes? And here they are. This is a peculiar level because to collect all the boxes you have to go one way, then go, come back and then go the other way. So it's really interesting. I believe I can't clear up this area yet. You get, you do have the glide power, but for now it's not enough. You see, it's not enough. So you have to wait until you get the running, the running shoes power. I'm not really sure if it's called that way, but you get to uh, run faster, so you get to reach a longer distance. Working like a charm. Careful with those, they are setting up new traps. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Careful with those, they are really pointy. Get the apples. We can get too overconfident with our lives. They can go by really fast, especially in the boss levels. Okay, we have a nitro there. And I thought I would clear it, but I guess I was wrong. Let's try it again. Now we know that that nitro is dangerous. Okay. I think I can clear the distance with my glide power. 
that's how you do it. Although, I, of course, there are more ways than one to do it, but I really enjoy this. Yeah, I remember this area. Just give me a second. You see that hole in the ceiling and that platform over there? This is the l the level that you're going to visit at the end of the game. Well, let me rephrase that. This level it's interesting because that platform is going to open up when you open the blue uh, when you obtain the blue gem and at the end of that secret section there is another platform that you have to open with that other color gem and you actually have to get all the color gems to complete that secret area darn it Here we go. Not on my house. Well, take this his house, but uh, you get the idea. Okay. Waiting till the right moment. And strike. Stay on the platform. Until you don't need to. Like that. <sighs> okay, it's moving around so much because my joystick, uh, the one of my controller, it gets really screwy sometimes. Okay, we see right there the pink gem and the platform for the bonus level. Activate that and we explode. That didn't go as planned. Again, we activate it. We get that. If you activate those TNT right there, you and that box with the life will explode and we, you won't be able to get it. It will count for the box count, but you lose a life, but let's be honest, you get life so often in this game that it doesn't really matter, but if you want to try it, I mean... Okay, let's try this one more time. Uh, I made the mistake to do the slam try to explode the TNT but the TNT reached me what you do is this oh and may the box explode you get to a safe distance and now you do it and that's how you beat that bonus level and we continue Day monkey. Yep. Let it just explode for now. Okay, we reached the end of the level, and you see there are plenty of boxes that we didn't get. For now, we will get some of them when you do this. You see, we were short 11 boxes, but it is okay for now, don't worry, we'll come back for them another time. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I remember this level, it's sort of a, like light simulator, uh, well, you get to shoot blimps down from the sky, and you get to dodge um, other airplanes shooting at you, and well, you get to use uh, 
the girls and the girl on this level and I think this is going to be the last level for this video I want to keep these videos on a good length okay you see right there the boxes they are attached to these balloons and um, if you explode the balloon the, I think you get uh, the count for that uh, box but you won't get the contents I forgot how it is oh yeah you don't get the contents of the box but you get the count of it and you see you get shoot at and on this one if you hit that balloon with the red cross you get some of your life back and it's all cool um, but you have to be careful you see how fast they shoot me you see I'm almost down to my end uh, half of my energy so let's try to get that balloon again and I get all my all my energy back I'm just collecting the boxes just for the fun of it sometimes you just want to do the 100% completion of a level uh, for good times good times, good times see, I only have two left and I still have that I think it's a red cross balloon I believe so, I could really use it I will take it until the last second yep. I definitely was cutting that a little bit too close Oh, I thought it was going to heal me completely. Oh yeah, I got all the um, all the boxes, so that's good. And just one left. And yeah, that was way too close. Just this one left, and I got the pink jump. Fairly simple, but okay, okay. These games have a way of getting the best of you on your best moments. For now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to finish my video right here, playlist. Please rate and subscribe, leave your comments below. Uh, follow me on Twitter and all the other sites that I have on the description below. And I have a lot of fun making th these videos for you guys and I hope you enjoy them too. Uh, I'll see you next time. God bless you and good night.